salt. The white stuff. No, 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 not that white stuff, but this white stuff. The stuff that we as humans have used for thousands and thousands of years to flavor and to preserve our food. It is actually said that the ancient Egyptians were the first to discover the preservation capabilities of salt. Let's fast track to the 1800s. Dr. Felix Bukowski, who was the state authority of occupational health in Poland. He started to notice that the men in the salt mines looked younger, they had less respiratory issues, and they even had clearer skin. So Dr. Bukowski continued his research and went on to establish the first health facility in the world for respiratory disorders and just general well-being. Over the next 100 years, salt therapy really took off with centers popping up all around the world, especially in Europe. But when I first heard about salt therapy, I have to admit, I was super skeptical. Was this just another fad? Was it actually effective? How long does it take to be effective? I had a ton of questions. So I started doing some research on it and I discovered Pablo Blau, which is the first luxury spa in Singapore to offer treatments in a salt room. It seems like a pretty ingenious idea. Amazing treatments in a salt cave? I was in and away I went on a journey for holotherapy healing. Just a bit more about Singapore. It is a sovereign island nation in Southeast Asia with over 5.4 million people. And the beauty industry is huge. Singapore has become a hub for beauty tourism and cosmetic surgery tourism with celebrities and royalty from all around the world heading to Singapore to get the most cutting edge procedures. So when I discovered Pablo Blau, which is a well-renowned luxury spa in Raffle City, I had to go. Raffle City has luxury brands from Armani to Mont Blanc and much, much more. Once I got to Singapore, I made my way over to Raffle City. Hi everyone, Teju here. We are in Singapore on a rainy but pretty cool day. And we're about to go into Pablo Blau, which is a halo therapy spa that has amazing salt treatments. I'm so excited, I've never done this before. It's supposed to be incredibly healing. I've heard a ton of things about it and I wanted to try this forever. So let's go in. You guys get to try this with me and let's see how I actually feel after this. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Now, when I first sat down at Pablo Blau, I have to admit I was nervous and still super skeptical. Is the whole room really filled in salt? What treatment would I receive? How would I feel after the treatment? I just had a million questions. So with all the questions that I had, I decided that it would be best to seek an expert. So I found Steve Spiro who is the CEO of Halotherapy Solutions. Now, Steve, decided and agreed to sit down with me after my treatment to really do a deep dive and help me understand halotherapy at a deeper level. But anyway, back to the rest of the treatment. I walked into the room and it was filled with salt. Everything was crisp and cool and just beautiful to look at. So guys, this is super cool. I don't know if you can see it. The walls are actually made from salt. Even the ground is made from salt. So what's cool is that you come in and you tell them about your skin conditions and you know um, some of the things you're struggling with and they actually recommend a treatment for you. So I have no idea what treatment, they haven't told me yet, but they're gonna do a special treatment on me. I have to put these clothes on here in the closet and um, then the esthetician's gonna come in and they're gonna work some magic on me. So I'll let you guys know what happens and how it ends up going. No, totally, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I decided to kind of relax my mind and lay down and actually enjoy the treatment. I couldn't believe this treatment when it first started. Uh, the esthetician actually was using this combing device to remove all of the junk from my skin, which was great. All the yucky stuff from my pore got removed. But the whole time as I was breathing in the salty air, which was invigorating and you know, it was really cool and invigorating, I kept thinking, is this actually working or is this just like a you know, really fancy uh, facial? So I continued to be skeptical the whole time, especially after you know, not having spoken to an expert to do a deeper dive into 
you know, the benefits of holotherapy. So just to let you know, first here, you're going to hear my unfiltered views on the experience right after receiving the treatment. All right. So I just finished up and it was interesting. It was more like a traditional facial. I thought the salt would be incorporated more into the treatment, but I have to say my skin does look glowing and they did an extraction. So you can see my skin has been just acting a fool and uh, breaking out. So you can see some pretty little pimples all over the place, but uh, the extraction helped to take all the gross blackheads out. Um, and I think my skin looks glowing. But I just thought that the facial would actually include and incorporate more of the salt. And it didn't. It was in kind of more of a traditional facial. So anyway, I'm going to get changed up here and then I'll check in with you all a bit uh, after. Now, after the treatment, I was even more excited to talk with Steve and to learn a little bit more about halotherapy in general. A little bit more about Steve. He is the CEO of Halotherapy Solutions and he actually has been selected for the fifth consecutive year as the chairman of the prestigious Global Wellness Institute's Salt Therapy Initiative. So pretty much he's like the OG of halotherapy and is super well renowned, renowned and respected in the industry. Now here's what he had to say about halotherapy treatment. Uh, Steve, so awesome to connect with you and really want your expert opinion on halotherapy. What is it? Should I be doing this? How often? So, um, you know, to, to kick things off, we love your definition of halotherapy. Well, first, I'm very, very happy to be here. Halotherapy is absolutely booming now. What halotherapy is a core piece of technology called a halo generator that grinds up pure pharmaceutical salt into micron sized particles. And the particles usually sit in a salt room or in an enclosure like a sauna or bed or cabin and you breathe in the salt and the salt basically is anti-inflammatory and anti-mucus and it's just great for your lungs and it's also great for your skin because it gets rid of inflammation that's what it mainly does you know as i was breathing in the air there it felt like this very cool crisp refreshing is the word that you know i would use to describe it well you go to the ocean right you go to the salt water and it's just so refreshing okay. right it, yeah. right you feel new, brand new when you come out of the ocean you know it does wonders. exactly how often would you recommend that someone goes to that's, that's a great question and again it comes down to what your what, what you what you have or trying to uh, deal with uh, right now it's i'm in florida the allergy there's the yeah. pollen and the wheat like it's just bad right so <laughs> I, actually, I actually go i go two to three times a week to my local salt therapy place oh wow and i go regularly during let's call it allergy season right if right. i feel perfectly fine i still go in once a week once every two weeks is kind of like maintenance or preventive so it kind of depends and what it's great for is things like psoriasis and eczema ah. there was a woman professional golfer that had horrible psoriasis on her hand one of her hands and she couldn't play golf anymore and she tried cream steroids everything literally three or four weeks of going three or four times a week not perfectly healed but so much more manageable the way i like to explain it to people like um if you have a sore throat one of kind of the homeopathic things you do is you gargle with salt water right, and right, so right. it's not it's, halo therapy is not some made-up voodoo thing salt gets rid of the inflammation in your throat so it's the same way with the inflammation when you inhale it or it goes on your skin. And you showed the, that cool home device. Explain this. Yeah. How does this work? So basically it's a salt room in a, uh, it, it, we call it the halo pocket. So you can be, literally fit in your pocket, in your purse. I, I travel a lot. I always take it with me you know, on the plane. I, I take it before I get on the plane. And when I get off the plane, I don't want to be breathing in that air. Yeah. And, and often when I go to other cities, they have different, allergy triggers for me so it's great you know if you do about eight or ten and I, I put the pure pharmaceutical salt in here and it just grinds it up and the salt comes out do you feel this so it, it, is it like fine particles of salt that exactly you can uh -huh. taste it a little bit and again uh yeah exactly so there you have it guys halotherapy in my opinion it was super cool to try it i'm grateful for the experience 
but I do have to say it feels like one of those things that you need to do over and over and over again and really to you know actually get the benefits which can be tough if you don't live near a spa with a salt room or a salt cave so it seems like if you do want to incorporate holotherapy, the personal device that Steve shared seems like a great, you know, kind of easier way in order to incorporate it into your wellness routine. Of course, I'm not here to give medical advice, only to share my experiences. So before you do anything or adopt any new treatment uh, or practice, please do speak with your health or wellness practitioner first. So that's it for now, guys. Holotherapy was a ton of fun, and I can't wait to take you guys on the next health, wellness, and beauty adventure. Till next time.